I'll start with this question that's come up a lot lately. Can you play music in rhythmic synchrony with people in other locations via internet without hearing any delay? The answer is yes, it is possible to play music with other people via internet with no synchrony problems and great sound up to a distance of several hundred miles. Can you do this on a home internet connection? I'll show an example of us doing that in a moment, but whether you can do it depends on your bandwidth and your tech support or skills. Is there a simple plug and play program you can buy to do this? My own answer on that right now is not really, uh, but I'll come back to that in a second and also tell you more about the software we use to do this, which is called JackTrip and is free and open source. But first, just to give a quick idea, here's an example that we recorded recently on home internet connections 70 miles apart. The audio is what we heard when we were playing, and we had no trouble playing in tight synchrony. <laughs> Here's another short example, and as you'll be able to hear, on this day we had some network issues that caused slight glitches in the sound, but it was still good enough to rehearse with, and we had no trouble playing in tight synchrony. <laughs> is the term we typically use to describe the time it takes for sound to travel between musicians and it's always a part of music performance even when we're next to each other in the same room. Research suggests that the threshold in which musicians can experience tight rhythmic synchrony is around or below 20 to 30 milliseconds which is equivalent to being up to about 26 to 30 feet apart in the same room. So in these examples, we felt no problems playing in tight synchrony, which suggests that the one-way latency, in other words, the time it took for the sound to travel through the air in our rooms, through our audio equipment, and through the network, is roughly in that range. The software that we're using to do this is called JackTrip. It was developed in the early 2000s by Chris Chafe, Juan Pablo Cáceres, and the Center for Computer Research in Music and Acoustics, or CARMA, at Stanford University. It's free open source software designed for low latency, high quality audio networking, and it works on Mac, Linux, and Windows, including the ability to connect using JackTrip from one of those platforms to any of the others. JackTrip is a key tool in the networked music performance community, and we've used it on large-scale concerts with multiple channels of audio at high resolution and low latency at long distances. In general, these concerts have required privileged access to high bandwidth networks at university. But the good news is that in recent years, home network speeds on average have been improving, and this is both a positive sign for the future and also means that even now, on some home networks, it may be possible possible to get decent results like this. Again, it does require that you have sufficient network speed, and this work is not simple. As my colleague, the bassist Mark Dresser, who you just heard, puts it, simply having the bandwidth is not enough. Connecting it takes practice, and practice takes time. Finally, I get these two questions a lot. What about a simpler product like, and I'm not going to fill in the blank because I'm not here to sell you any other product, I can only speak to the high quality results we get with JackTrip, and I'm not aware of any simple plug and play products that offer uncompressed audio at the latency levels we can get with JackTrip. Do I need a tool like JackTrip in order to? This really depends on how you fill in that blank. JackTrip is really designed for musicians who want to perform together with tight synchrony, and I discussed earlier in this video the latency requirements for that. If your latency requirements aren't quite that low, for example, if you want to record someone remotely or you want to teach and have back and forth 
high quality low latency audio but you don't actually need to play it together those are different situations and there are definitely other tools that would be simpler to set up and use but for more information on performing together over the internet including on home network connections please see the other videos in this series thanks for listening